today we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da! You Orion. This is standard. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGP, and I just hit a the wrong button and opened a weird window on my screen. You didn't see that, right? Check the tape. Editor, remove. Thank you. Today in the arena, we're going to play life gain. Life gain. Because maybe, God, hurts me to say this. Maybe, maybe life gain is busted now because they got a new card and it is a banger. It's only one new card, but it puts this thing in a whole different stratosphere. But CGP, didn't you say that life gain is a bad strategy? No questions. Because when you are up against the amount of mono red that we are currently up against, I swear to God, it gets worse. It gets worse. Every set release gets worse. Don't get me started. There is a rant in here and it will flow like a river of vile hatred. Just every set release send just more mono red than the last and they don't even have new cards. They just spam it more than usual. What the hell is going on with these people? So we're going to farm them like the brain dead strategicians they are. We're going to farm them oh so easily with our life gain strategy. And our new card is Case of the Uneaten Feast. Just watch, just watch them read it. Watch them click it and try to read it three times and still not grasp the domination that is occurring. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Okay, I mean, I, I think that Johnny's Chosen is a, a version of this from a while ago, uh, but there's more. To solve it, gain five or more life in a turn, and then once solved, you can sacrifice this case and creature cards in your graveyard gain. You may cast this card from your graveyard until end of turn. We didn't need any more than the life gain thing in an aggro matchup against the mono reds, the mono whites and stuff. The first part is good enough, but against the control decks, gaining life isn't enough. As we know, they don't really care about your life total. They grind you out in it of value and the case of the uneaten feast where did all this food come from what do we do with all this food guys we have too much food you know thanksgiving all over again um the the case of the uneaten feast lets you cast creatures from your graveyard again which is really good for grinding against more slower decks so it does everything that you need a, it to do in a life gain deck and it allows for insane <laughs> setup curves like when you cast your gumdrop poisoner the triggers from lunark veteran in case of the uneaten beast makes it into an immediate removal spell without having to crack food when you cast amalia you get multiple triggers right away just having redundancy in this effect suddenly makes this deck so good and i hate talking about a deck with only one new card right after a new set comes out but freaking mono red they're not gonna play new cards at all and they deserve to be farmed their win rate deserves to be zero Zero! This is war, and you can't get distracted by big shiny new mythics that cost five mana and do something if they survive when Mono Red is out there trying to farm you. So take a stand, grab some life gain cards, and show them where to stick their lightning strike. Thank you to the sponsors of this video, CoolStuffInc.com, promo code CGV5. Get yourself a discount when you shop there and pick up Ultimate Guard Protective Supplies, the only protective supplies for the one in Best of One. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. On the draw, we have two cases and a veteran. The life gain. The life gain would be overwhelmingly powerful. Whoa. Oh, hello, Mono Red. Nice to see you. When do we get a tap land down? That's the question. Because part of me says we want to set up our poisoner. We want to set up our cases. It's it's a lot. I think we need to start playing cases right away. I'm going to overthink everything. Everything in this deck. I don't know how to play life gain. Just check the comments on my life gain videos. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows I can't play this deck. Mm. 
Ooh. Okay. Okay. I think it's this and this. I don't know. I really want to play the veteran and the Amalia. Good God. Did they have to have the perfect on the play draw? Of course they did. They're mono red. All right, how much life do I gain when this enters? Not enough yet. Do we go like this into uh, this? Into uh, this? Wow. Uh, that can stay. That can stay right there. Case is solved. 5-5 five, five, Amalia. Not shy, are they? Make this thing do its work. I know they're just going to rage all over it, right? But we got to get it off the board. It flies over our defenses. Why does etching also exile stuff, man? It makes my cases suck. It's very frustrating. Well, we absorbed some of their burn. That's huge. All right, down to four. Empty graveyard, sad. Let's gain a life. Let's cast our gumdrop poisoner. Let's gain some life. And target... They're only one creature away from bringing the chick back. Let's take out the etching. It says one, but don't be fooled. You're going to gain from the cases. Now we can sack the case to cast something from the graveyard. That's why we kill the etching. Because we might be casting this gumdrop poisoner from the yard. They know about the Gix's command. They know their days are numbered. If only their deck were good, then they'd have a chance. They can't complain about their draw. It is literally a who's who of mono red cards on the play. I'd like to congratulate them on not conceding yet. They are uh, a credit to the mono red gamer community. Their toughness will be spoken of in legend in the hallowed halls of what do you think? Do you think mono red players have a discord group? They all get on a weekly discord or zoomy call and get together and just talk about how great it is to be a mono red player. What do you think? Please don't. Are you really gonna? Okay. Okay. I mean, that. That is a play you can make. I bet they have. I bet they have a Facebook group. Oh, it's so cringe. What's more cringe in 2024 than a Facebook group? The answer is nothing. You want to know how cringe Facebook groups are right now? You guys out there, you have, you are in Facebook groups right now. None of you are going to admit to it though. You're going to be like, oh, my mom and my grandma, but nah, you're in some local like garage sale face group. You're in some local, you know, Oh, hi guys. Uh, I'm giving away this couch. I don't want it anymore. Facebook group. You're, you're like organizing your community bike rides and stuff. But you don't even want to talk about it. That's how cringe it is. Yeah, back to your Facebook group. Show them this footage. Tell them how your draw was amazing and you got bodied easily by the one in best of one. Oh yeah. I mean, 
This hand could flood out and do almost nothing. Let's keep it. It's great. It could also draw Voice of the Blessed and go bananas. You just don't know? You just don't know, do ya? Can they kill it next turn? I guess they could have a get lost. We should lead on the bat. It also opens up the possibility of drawing untapped land and going veteran voice. Gaze. Is this a squirming deck? I smell a squirming deck. Wah! Nice hand. <laughs> what a keep. What a freaking keep. I hope they draw all four. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, they got an archaeologist who gets a founding. The ultimate founding deck. That's what this is. All right, the voice. I was on the voice once. They said I was too talented. They couldn't show it to the world. They were worried that the other contestants and really all of America would be too jealous. That's why I sing very sparingly on the channel. All right, what well, third path ain't doing much right now, right? They need a spell in their hand. They probably don't have it. So they're probably on the mill four cards. And if they hit squirming, and they hit their land drop here. They can cast Squirming next turn. They don't have that many permanents yet. Okay, they just go chapter one, nothing. Weird. Very weird. Ooh. Ooh. Who dis? The pain is coming. The pain is definitely coming. Uh, you have one turn to live, make it count. This is why I think they needed to hit squirming like this turn. They needed to like play the glade and put this on chapter two and hope to high roll, but let's see. Maybe they got something in their hand that'll do the job. Six in the graveyard. So if they have, no, they would need double black to cast the terror tide as the sweeper. They ain't got that. Thinking. Brain processing the pain they are suffering at the hands of life gain? This just doesn't feel logical. On the play. This beautiful two lander has an Amalia, so I love it. Amalia is probably my favorite life gain card ever printed. I love getting those explore triggers. They hit me in the brain chemicals. But are we playing Amalia here? I mean, what have we learned? We've learned you play the bat when you can play the bat. There is the bat. Oh, you. This fiendish god awful monstrosity. All right, we need a Gix's command. But right now we need to solve the question of what to take. And since their mana is limited, I think we take the thing that lets them see more cards because they could just not draw their third land for two, th two or three turns and then they're in big trouble. But let's take the Inti and be mindful of the Frenzy. Frenzy's kind of hard for them to cast if their deck isn't like in full blitz mode. That's why I think a lot of decks don't even run removal. Opponent. I mean, unless they drew a really interesting card, the play is clearly the bunny corn. Cavern on human. The bunny corn. Choices. Amalia, voice of the blessed. We have enough land. Let's listen to the voice.
Even the bunny corn's gonna have trouble with that. Okay, they found an Epicure. They are missing the land, so by design. Let's see if they dig for it. I'm sure they will. I would. There we go. Not a land. <laughs> Shuffler giveth. Shuffler taketh away. You have no idea, though, how happy it makes me to see this deck have a bad draw. I swear to God, every time I play against this deck, it's like, turn one, Epicure. Turn two, Gleeful Demolition. Convoke out the 4-4. Four, four. Get a, two recruiters in hand. Turn three, swing for 50. So, you know, get wrecked. On the draw, no removal. It's a little bit of a slow hand. I don't think I can mull it. I don't think we mull this hand. And here comes Mono Red. All right, no cases, no veterans is a little concerning. Okay, we can have a turn one poisoner, but that doesn't do much for us. I think we set up with Fortress. Then we probably need the batch. And then what? They are a charming scoundrel, aren't they? Wicked rolling, rolling, rolling on the Phoenix Jack. Okay, that's an untapped land three. That allows us to play the Poisoner. So yeah, this is Bat, maybe into Poisoner, then Voice? If we draw an untapped land, Ellis and Voice. Okay. Hey, right, sequencing is pretty hard because so many of the casting costs are about the same and there's so many tap lands. All right. Well, they're going to kill the bat. Let's make them use the strike to do it so the invasion's not on the field. And let's hope they don't draw land. Keep them mana screwed. That's my approach. Then we have to figure out how to play around the invasion, which can hit for three. They do not play the lightning strike. That's kind of greedy. Does that mean they have a play with fire? I think it does mean that. It doesn't, and I have gained a life this turn. Part of me says get the poisoner down, kill the scoundrel, just to have the three two lifelink on the board. The other option is voice or probably Ilkor, right? Ilkor is actually a bit of a pain for them. They want to kill the bat, but they also want to kill this. Okay, we're, we're doing we're, we're doing this. This is hard sequencing, man. You never know, that food token could really matter, and it's not like these are mega priority targets. Okay, they have a 2-2 dragon. I can't believe they, they subscribe to the face-only gang for lightning strike, that's for sure. I can't believe they didn't lightning strike this bat. Or this Ilkor. Like, face doesn't matter if I'm gaining life. Man. I wish I could get down the case. But... Let's listen to the voice inside our head. Sing it loud, sing it clear. Aggro. Up to 5-5. Five, five. A life point away from flying. And we're up to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The threat is 10. I think they want to kill the voice. So we're going to put a block on the etching because that graveyard exile is annoying. Yeah, they strike the voice, okay. Wish I had a way to instant. I was about to say, I wish I had a way to instant speed gain a life, but just that I put this on the stack made them think I had it and they scooped. <laughs> they thought I had some way to gain life. 
Oh, that's one of my favorite scoops of the year. On the draw, this hand is sick. <laughs> turn one case, turn two Amalia or Bat. Eventual Aklazots, and you know what? Hey, new format, new mono red, right? That's how we do. Case. Opponent reads, uh? You'll see. You'll see. I know, I know you might not be aware that new cards came out. I know you might not actually literally read anything on the entire client. All you do is hit play on the same mono red deck every day, all day. I'm aware of your behaviors, but I don't know. You might want to read one of these cards. It, it gets interesting. Two Godricks, a frenzy, a swift spear. I guess we have to take the frenzy. If there's one thing I learned playing mono red today, just ignore them. You can't do much. It can barely do any damage at all. All right, did they top a land? They didn't. They'll probably make a treasure. I'd make a treasure. There you go. Oh no, damage. <laughs> the case of the uneaten feast. Guys, what do we do with all this food? It's like Thanksgiving. It doesn't really matter if we take a Godric because they have another one. So let's get Amalia down. Oh, baby. Oh, that's good. That's strong. Casual 5-5 five five ready to cook. Come at me, Godric. Show me your skills. They did it, guys. They found the attack all button. Do we play around the lightning strike and the rage? See, if this dies, we don't get it back because of extraction specialist, because of etching. So I think we just block here. What are they gonna do, burn me? I'm gonna gain like four more life next turn. Oh no, a 3-3. Three, three. Where is the bat? I knew it. Get that out of here. Nobody wants to see your top deck lightning strike. The voice, beautiful. We put it in the bin because we're going to extract it in the near future. Flying high now. Sure, I'll draw that. Look at the curve next turn. We can either Aklazots or we can extract the voice and play the Ellis Ilkor and get Amalia to probably about a 2020, probably. That's, that, that, that sounds about right. Yep. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, we know their hand. Why wouldn't we go to one? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Gimme, gimme more, as the great Britney Spears once said. I like triggers. Do you like triggers? I got triggers. There's a couple triggers going on. I literally have to watch out for this becoming a 2020. I'll blow up all my stuff. found the button. All right. Uh, I block and I block. 
I have never gotten Amalia to pop in standard. Never. I think I did it once in Brawl, and they were scooped before it could happen. And I did the combo in Explorer. Okay, that there that's a number of damage. Not enough. <laughs> what a way to die. <laughs> oh, mono red, mono red, mono red. Keep it coming. Let's do this. Oh, we on the play. We got cases. We got so many cases. First case. Green. Who plays that? I mean, I want to explore like it's never been done before. So I think I'm actually going to play out the cases, make the food, and then play the Amalia. Okay, almost got almost got got by the bat, but when you have doubles, it's okay. Being on the play, awesome here because now Poisoner can take out the bat when we need it to, uh, assuming other bat doesn't show up. Let's do this now. We might hit tap land. I don't think the life is going to matter as much as like having the right curve. Gix's command against the bat. This turn, turn three. Next turn, gumdrop. Turn five, command. Sure. Powerful card. <laughs> nice. Got him. <laughs> Poison him. Get that bat dead. Get back, back up Amalia. Find the land. Find lots of land. Set up the command. We have not had to sack a case to cast things from the graveyard. I'm wondering if this will be the game. Green Black usually has removal. They haven't showed it to us yet, have they? Hmm. Yes, will you be paying the ward? You did pay the ward. Oh, ward. Get in there. Love that for you. Uh, there. If we play this and they have a go for the throat, are we happy or sad? We can get them back soon. I'm just wondering, like, if we play the bat and they go for its throat, would we rather have the Amalia down or the bat? And I think the answer is the Amalia. So we lead with the bat. They'll probably kill it. Ass trophy. Okay. Yeah, I said it. Thanks for the land. But I need to see your hand. How dare you scoop before I see your hand? That's that that, that I, I, I want to know exactly how much I just clowned you. On the draw, which has been just miserable but we pulled out of it we've come out of it sometimes best of one stuff right best of one is usually standard it's supposed to be like turn five format turn four is supposed to be fast games are over effectively over sometimes on turn two which is so insane for a standard format but that's the effect of the big the big format now Media cut down. Okay. Triple bat. Sure. Uh, their turn three play is going to be the schooner because they only have a tap land because they run surgical bay for some reason. 
Unless they top deck an untapped land. Okay, they top deck a playable. That's good for them too. All right, the Gix, the Gix we can hit with a Virtue. They have another Schooner on top, okay. I think actually we take the uh, Gix, right? They can't draw cards? Or is it the Preacher because Virtue can, yeah, okay. So next turn's gonna be interesting, right? They're gonna draw a Schooner. What are they gonna play? They're either gonna play Trespasser, Gix, or Schooner. I think they'll play Gix. They'll attack me, they'll draw one card. Then on our turn, we're gonna Virtue the Gix, play the Bat, take the Schooner, leave them with a Trespasser. That sounds good, actually. I think this is the hardest thing to deal with, to be honest. I mean, they'll have one extra card from the Gix that could throw a wrench in the plan. We'll just hope it's not that good. Planning is hard. Fortress off the top. It's definitely still a double spell turn. What'd you draw? More bat. They drew a cut down. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, but I'm prepared. My poor Lunark veteran. Gobbled up by some trespasser who's not even supposed to be here today. I hope you attack me. Darn it. That is a magic card you can top deck. Ooh, okay, Shelly. Perfect timing. In there before there, Shelly. All right, opponent. You must have the Shelly bug, right? You know where you never draw go for the throat? When there's a Sheldred on the battlefield? Come on, you ain't got it. You ain't got it. Pilgrim. Let's play you. Let's play you. Get that spyglass siren out of here. Do we trade Shildra the Apocalypse for two creatures with this board? I don't think that's crazy. I don't think that's crazy at all. They can't take it. It's too much. Death touch, kill them both. Hey, what did you, what did it cost? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> no sheltered, but still no chance. On the play, no one drop life gainer, but we have to hit the tap land anyway. Let's keep it. Yes, mono red, something, something mono red. You bad monastery swift spear. Just a terrible name, no musicality to it. Nothing I can do with that. I missed the fervent champion, but now we have monastery swifty spear, and I don't know. What can I do? 
Well, that has to die. Fortunately, we have the means. Hit ya. I don't actually want them to kill this, and they might if it's in the way, because, you know, red deck need hit face. You play blue? Why? Very impressive. You're mono red with a different land. Somebody get him a cookie. Being down our life gain sources is not great, but Gix's command is thinking about doing something cool next turn. Do I love Amalia too much? Is this a bad, a bad play? No, oh, they don't have anything. Interesting. See, your blue is supposed to counter the five mana sorcery, you weirdo. <laughs> That's what blue's for. It's how you play it. Case of the Crimson Pulse. What what he do we? Draw two cards. That's what blue is supposed to do. Okay. Hmm. I can actually sneaky hold up a ganjo here? I can. Might matter a lot against prowess, prowess, trample. Ward two, we'll see. Balls more. You heard me. Uh-huh. So, the ward means we can't Iganjo it. We could double block it, though. Must survive. Okay. Play with fire my face. Sure! So this is solved. What's that mean? At the beginning of your upkeep, discard your hand, then draw two. Can't busted. They're at 10 though. We're at 10. I guess I need to kill the ball more. It's too close. They're not gonna block here. So that means next turn, it is a potentially lethal attack. They're gonna try to go for the win here. They have to. Elusive Otter. Sure, don't go for the win, that's fine. Um, uh, the case. You can drop a virtue on him, but mm -mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we still have to hold this. They're drawing too many cards a turn. So I think it's... Uh, but we don't make any progress this way. It's very frustrating. Oh well. Let's let's live dangerously. If we're sitting here not doing enough, it's gonna get bad. I really need to hit a land there to hold up the Aganjo. That's what I was hoping for. We drop him to two. Play the case. And see if they win. It's 12 to 2. The, ch the right chain of cards, though, starts with a consider. Hold on to your butts, Leggy Shreddy. I don't know. Discard your hand, draw two. But it's an adventure. It doesn't have haste. Still seems like... 
Still seems like a red deck with extra steps. We at nine. I think they're just testing me, but they could have a bounce spell. So let's see. You got a bounce spell? Nah, you did. On the play, veteran voice Amalia. Love this. We'll see. They basically need double spot removal. These are the engines of the deck, and if they don't die right away, the opponents get pounded pretty brutally. And when it's mono red, I am so happy about that. So, you got a lightning strike? Better play it now if you do. That's a charm scoundrel. Oh, you don't want to race? What happened? Oh, they're gonna hate this. <laughs> are they gonna make it to turn three? Mono Red, are you okay? <laughs> oh, come on. What are you gonna, you gonna play Godric? No blocks. That's how little I respect you. You don't got three life to pay for this frenzy. <laughs> but they will do it nonetheless. Get out. Get out. We have no use for you here. On the play. Uh, no turn one, but turn two is bat. Turn three is voice or pilgrim or virtue. Yeah, we do it. We do the thing. We are not to have a turn one play though. Aklazots, hang out over here. We're going to be fine without you for about, you know, 100 turns. Evolving adaptive. Zibat. Uh-oh. 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 Somebody watched a little video about a mole god. What do we know? Hey, Kajar, they play Rookie, take Thief. They play Question, but their curve is messy. They have the one of Restless Ridge. That's kind of good for us. Could just let them have Hajar or the Rookie and take the Question. We know I love question. I really wish I knew if I was drawing land, though. Alrighty. I'm just gonna... Hmm. Yeah. You. That's a tough pick. Like, double... Evolving thingy majiggy is scary. Oh, goody, a land. All right. The Storm Seekers here. But I think we take this and hope their next turn is a dud. And then we can get a board present set up. That looks like it might be a dud. Did they draw a playable? Oh, God, they did. They draw. Why would you do post combat? Don't understand. They top decked another question. Dang it, no questions. Oh, that's the best. That that is better than an untapped land. That's the best possible draw they could have. So if we get soloed from here by that deck, you know, we we take our beating. So we want to virtue the storm seeker so they don't get a hasty holy moly. So let's get down Ilkor and voice. It begins. Yep. 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 Do I want to kill it? 
Nope. We'll be too big for these soon. It's fine. This is fine. Poisoner. Kill it. Be a four. Pass. <laughs> this is kind of scary. Uh-huh. None of these grow these anymore. So the four four is a god among insects on this board. Bold? Very bold. I will match boldness with boldness. Okay. I play this gain one. Doesn't do much, huh? But that's where we're at. We have to play it, I think. Yep, doesn't kill it though. Oof. Lands are hard. But this poisoner gets into combat. We gain three more. You have to be ready for the ridge line. New rookie. I mean, my goodness, they drew all the creatures, none of the quake moles. What do they do here? Do they attack? They just sent everything last turn. I mean, it's 3v3. This is fine. Kill the trampler. Kill this. Break even on the life. Gain one. Cool. This gives indestructible only to legendary creatures. Psych! Not dead. Oh, we reading. Trust me, it's a banger. Double food might keep us alive. We draw the untapped land. Okay. Uh, gain three. As much as I would love to play Aklazots. I don't think that's going to happen here. We need to poison something quickly before it gets out of hand. They already get, have two clues to sacrifice. Roar. Ten life. Come at me, mole god. Please don't. Our opponent, our opponent followed the way of the Gruel Smash. They attacked into seemingly crazy boards until there was almost nothing left. So we salute. Today's Cool Kids Club member showed out, showed out, shout out goes to Jake Braun. Jake, thank you for joining the Cool Kids Club on YouTube. If you hit join for $4.99 a month, you get early access to my videos and you get to watch me record the videos as a number of the cool kids are doing right now. So hit join if you're interested in those perks and Jake Braun, you're cool. What do I have to say about this life gain deck? I went 10 and six overall, a 63% win rate. Sometimes you don't draw to third land. Sometimes you don't have a good removal spell for the opponent's Rafine curve. There are a lot of things that can go wrong with this. Sometimes they have removal specifically for Amalia and Voice of the Blessed, which without those cards, the engine of the deck really doesn't run. But I will tell you what actually matters. 80% against Mono Red. 80%. Brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, you stupid Oreo cookie life gain deck. Thank you for your silly triggers and your giant Amalias. Thank you for making Mono Red look at a 7-7 seven, seven voice of the blessed and crap its pants. Thank you. What would we be without you? This is a call to action. Should you craft this deck? Yes. Yes. And you should farm them until they give up. I want to see Reddit posts about 
how mono red isn't good anymore. And we sh we should spam this until those appear. I want them crying in the corner, trying to figure out what beats black, white life gain. And when they when they post, when they make those posts of, I think I need a new deck. You tell them, well, control decks do it. And they go, what? Do it. Go forth. The Cool Kids Club members. Demolish them. Leave them scarred, bloody, and brutalized, figuratively speaking, in Magic the Gathering sense. And regretting their mono red choices. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. Like and subscribe. You're cool. CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of Covert Go Blue, and you can find all of his unique tokens and playmats at Covert Go Blue HQ. Take to the skies with CGB's Shark token and playmat, and his premium Dragon Rider token and playmat, or become the apex predator of your next game night with his Dinosaur Rider playmat and token. CoolStuffInc.com slash CGB is your place for all things Covert Go Blue. So check it out if you want to channel your inner one in best of one. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock.